At 1 p.m. in the afternoon, a car traveling at a constant velocity of 94 kilometers an hour towards the west is 7 kilometers west of your school. Where will it be at 3.30 in the afternoon? So here we have a diagram where at 1 o'clock the car is going 94 kilometers an hour. The car is a distance of 7 kilometers from the school, so the DS is the distance from the school from when it starts. And at 3.30 it's gone a distance, um, which we need to calculate, which is uh, DX, and it's gone and it's 3.30. So how far is, has a car gone from 1 o'clock to 3.30? And so what we're given here is a time of two and a half hours. And what this is is the 3.30, uh, or, for, or from 1 o'clock to 3.30 is two and a half hours. We know the car is going 94 kilometers an hour. The distance the car is at the start from the school is uh, 7 kilometers. And the total distance the car goes, which is the DX, which is the green arrow, and the DS, which is the black arrow, and so to calculate, the first thing we need to do is calculate how far the car has gone from the start to the finish, which is the green arrow or, or dx. And so we're going to use the formula distance equals velocity times time. And we're going to substitute our numbers. And we got 94 kilometers per hour times two and a half hours. And then what we're going to do first is cancel out the hours. And so we notice that our only units left is kilometers which is uh, good because we're looking for distance. And so our, our distance, the green arrow, the DX, is 235 kilometers west from the starting point. And the starting point is right here at 1 o'clock. And the starting point is 7 kilometers west of the school. So we need to know how far is the car from the school. So the total distance is DX plus DS. We just put in our numbers, which is 235 plus 7, which equals 242 kilometers west of the school. So the car is 242 kilometers from the school.